Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Why are we bonking? Artur's Lankic, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, I did spend a bit of time offline uh, just refactoring a couple of builds that I've been putting off. So we already did the copper, uh, the copper ingot refactor online, uh, where we've got the furnaces linked directly to the uh, copper ingot producing thermo facilities. So the massive amount of fluid that's being pumped around for this uh, isn't. There's no fluid dynamics to worry about. It just goes straight into the machine. Uh, did the same thing for iron. And I was going to consider um, basically exporting the excess uh, molten iron like we were doing. But I looked at how much molten iron we were pushing around where we used to do the iron ingots and then push the uh, excess molten iron to a different block to do steel, and I decided steel needs redoing. Cavern DK, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, yeah, so iron ingots have the exact same shape as the new copper ingots. Um, steel is just a little bit different. Because the ratio, because the steel recipe is slower, uh, and also we need a solid input coke to make steel. Uh, basically, we've got four thermo facilities for every one advanced facility. Uh, with tier six modules, the ratio is a little bit negative. With tier nine modules, it's a bit positive. Uh, so that's all balanced for the complete end game. Uh, but yeah, this is about the neatest build I could come up with for the steel, with the new uh, design philosophy. There must be something wrong with sound alert. There was no bonk, but there was a bonk. What do you mean? You guys can hear that, right? Welcome in, Kalen. RV Park, Pospec. Good to see you all again here today. Um, yeah, I also redid the... Since we didn't need half a block for the uh, uh, Pyroflux, I brought it down to just two machines over here. We've already got tier 9 modules in it. I don't think we need two of these machines, but I'm sure the two of them will be more than enough to feed... Uh, feed us all the way through to completion. And it's actually getting direct belt fed from this half block up here. I redid the, uh, the Vulcanite blocks a little bit as well. Basically the same idea, but I, I, I turned them around. So instead of, instead of a big tank of, a huge tank of water... Where, where is it? Instead of a huge tank of water in the middle, uh, flipped it around, squeezed this in between, and we've got some nice symmetrical uh, five condenser turbines here. Uh, and the emergency get rid of excess steam in case we're not using it is just shared between this one chemical plant for the whole build. Bonk is good, indeed. So, yeah, uh, almost everything in this rectangle here has been refactored. Uh, I did, I don't know if it was necessary, but I did add another build for the... Oops. Uh, I did add another build for... Uh, enriched Vulcanite made some minor changes over here. I actually got rid of the train request for the uh, for the enriched Vulcanite to come here to begin with because once once we've got this it's really not 
necessary to bring any more. Uh, and I was actually just getting rid of the input belts, or some of the input belts, for the enriched vulcanite. Since we won't be needing that anymore. Um, and then I'm not sure what we should do next. Uh, I did notice earlier the Arcospheres have actually caught up, but it's because we had no blank data cards. I forget why. Uh, we had no, uh, significant data. Oh, movement. Okay, cool. How are we doing? Pretty well the moment but I see a lack of yellow on these belts over here yeah we don't have the uh, sig data I also noticed um, looking over here that you would th think this thing is jammed because there's only an arcosphere C output in each of these there's a lambda stuck in here which means this needs a an Omega. That Omega is not coming. Unless it's like hidden on this belt here. I doubt it. Yeah, I think this got jammed somehow. Well, we'll find out. Uh, so do we have blank data cards coming in? We do. Fantastic. And no doubt there's some um, catching up to do at this point. Is it just because of blanks that we don't have the Is that a hundred stacks? Should be. We're looking for a hundred ten. Yeah, it's just blank data cards is the reason we don't have sig data right now. That'll sort itself out. I can't even remember why the blank data cards stopped. Oh yeah, it was data storage substrates. Uh, I actually forgot... What is this? God damn it. Uh, I actually forgot to make sure that the scrap coming out of uh, rough data storage substrates on the ground had somewhere to go because I deleted the old scrap processing blocks downstairs. Um, so since we're not using uh, this one right here for scrap, I squeezed in a drop-off for it over here. And that's more or less everything I did offline. Copper? I don't think we're short on copper. Uh, I should be looking in here. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of copper. Um, copper upstairs specifically is lots. We're fine. WC? WC. The Hisak, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. We have a few more... Tier 9 modules here, 1 stack of speed 9s, 12 prod 9s, and more than 2 stacks of efficiency modules. At this rate, I might want to slow down on the efficiency modules, because they're getting so far ahead of uh, the other two. Welcome. Um, so what are we missing here? We're missing quantum processors and some modules from downstairs. Quantum processors are in motion, so it's hard to know what they're missing, but I imagine uh, it would be Holmium cable that would run out the most often. 
Chromium cable. Hmm, let's see. Chromium cable production has been super solid for only 18 minutes, but most of the last hour it's been looking pretty good. We did expand our Holmium recently a bit, right? Oh, and we put Prod 9s in... Oh, you're kidding me. We put Prod 9s in the leftmost block uh, for the drop-offs for the Holmium Core Franks. Got a long way to go still, but I really would like to put prods just everywhere for Holmium. Um, I think our outposts, let's see, verb T, only 60k, that's not much. Plato, 114, that's kind of a bit. Orpheus. 237,000. Okay, yeah, we're not, uh, we're not collecting all the Holmium from our outposts. I think it really is time to add some more spaceships. I guess we'll add, like, five? I want to be a little bit careful because... With the way we've got the dispatch system designed at the moment, I think it's possible to oversaturate the ships so that they get jammed when they're trying to drop stuff off. And not necessarily dispatched to somewhere else they need to go in due time. Um, but yeah, let's add some more ships. I think... I was going to say, I thought we had a berth over here somewhere for them. Um, where are our spaceships? Why have I not got a copy of it in this folder? Phone Astra flyby, construction ship. We really don't have this blueprinted right now? Or at least not here. Alright, well, why don't we just do what I should be doing anyway? And... Grabbing one of these so that we know what we're getting is up to date. I don't think we need the snap to grid, but I'll keep it anyway. Um, what should I, I'm just going to call it for a caller. And that goes in spaceships. Sure. Now then. Oops. I don't remember if we left room. We did not. I don't think this was here before. Oh, I remember. This little thing right here is... all set to get them started, right? Moon 1179, anchor to target, clamp, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Floor first. So we've got 50 ships at the moment, I just want to add 10% more. And hopefully it won't be too horrendous for the UPS. Don't want to go overboard adding them. 
especially because they like it, it i could change it so that um they come back here to be dispatched after they've done the drop-off rather than waiting at the drop-off for orders to dispatch and that way they're not blocking another ship from dropping off if we end up with too many ships uh, we've already got a system in place though to not limit but balance the number of ships that we've got coming back with different types of core fragment so it probably wouldn't get that bad i guess Anyway, it looks like we're ready to go here. Uh, should probably wait for some more fuel, actually. I mean, the ship, the ship won't actually take off without a certain amount of fuel from the... Oh my god, this spaghetti. That's not going to be pumping all that quickly. Why is it, get, why is it pumping faster? It should be getting slower. 1200 a second. Um, I should probably just make another... Another drop-off point over here. For antimatter. We're going to need a train stop somewhere or other. LTN stop. Maybe just tank next to the shipyard? Yeah. Okay. So this would go here. Uh, and I would like... Let's get rid of all this spaghetti. can fit in here 50k so all of this is just 200k just 200k uh how many tiles is this nine perfect rather than adding another big tank right next door to it and live with this and then we're going to want one i i should have built this a little further away whatever it's going to look a little strange. And we want as few pieces as possible. And that'll make it pump faster. Oh wait, that's how many tiles? Don't tell me it's four. It is. Nope, it's three. I guess this fits here. Looks dodgy as. It'll pump nice and fast though. Uh, Requester. Combinateur. And... Oops. Wait, where did that just connect? Okay. Kind of tricky to see at that angle. I guess we don't need another wire color. Uh, request threshold? Sixty K. 
Antimatter. Uh, there needs to be 200k here, right? At least. And the train is, two trains are already on their way. That does make sense. Uh, I kind of forgot to... They're gonna no path. I could either add this here, or I could cheat a little bit. With the signaling just this once. That looks fine. Okay, can they pass? No path. What do you mean? Oh, the signal here is in the way. That should work. And away they go. Immediately lights pipeline of jet fuel on fire since the ship... When the ship warms up its drive. No. no. Petrie Cottontail, welcome in. Big brain, indeed. Trains jam soon, TM? Nah, we've got it. There's only one legal way in or out um, of this little spot now. But it's pretty quick. I was wondering why this was still waiting. Okay, that is plenty. So this one, I almost sent it away already. This one will be number 51, right? Core egg hauler 5 1. And program in the memory cell. And, oh, it automatically Yeah, there we go. It auto-launches if I leave this switched on, once it's got enough fuel. So then we put in another one. Not that one. Name at number 52. What? For fucks. I mean... For la la la. I... There's nothing missing, right? I... it doesn't have anything programmed in. It's going to be easier if we send it back to Hagen Orbit. But first, switch this off. Apparently it was... don't launch again please. Okay, good. Yeah, that was not set up the way I thought it was. That's just an arbitrary launch button. Okay. Uh, so you're waiting for fuel, and you've got your memory cell set. Cool, cool, cool. I guess if we fill this up more with antimatter, uh, the fluid will pump a little bit faster. Yeah, we're going to need more than 1,500 per second, please. I 
I don't want to forget what I'm doing here, so... What can we work on that only takes a couple of minutes? Oh, this is waiting for decon? Sure, let's do that. I would like to... Uh, cosmic water is quite cheap, right? It's literally just water and lube. Yeah. Yeah, we can just decon this. No need to salvage it. The uh, fluid, that is. Alright. I'll just borrow the floor train for this. Oh yeah, I also finished trimming away the old uh, solar panel build. And the block up here that was used for sending our first spaceship back and forth to Muir. Still got these relic ships just lying around. But we've tidied up a little bit. Oh, we're saturated on self-healing gel. That's good. Did long trains ever pick this up? I mean short trains? I feel like letting this accumulate. Self-healing gel, ingredient, uh, long trains only here, and this is the mall. So there's no need whatsoever to let short trains pick this up. The inserters uh, should keep things pretty well balanced. So we may as well spend this time accumulating. Oh, I already missed the train here. Rip. Rip in pepperonis. Our ship has left. Time for 53. Fantastic. Four, eight, four, five, three. Program the memory cell. And we get that will auto launch. Grab that floor train once more. Get rid of this. And remove. Cool, cool, cool. Language in my Christian Minecraft stream? I'm sorry. Can you ever forgive me? How much longer is it going to take to catch up with blank cards? We do have a relatively large amount of speed and efficiency modules. I could max this out already. You know what? Let's do it. Where am I going? One less thing to think about. It, it does seem to be it's just prods that we're like bottlenecked on for modules at this point. I mean, all the tier 9s are slow, but I think we can afford this little indulgence. Um, I might... Rough data storage subs. Haven't caught up. Wait, how fast is this? Current consumption rate of RDSS would be 133 per minute. Downstairs, I think we've only got the one block making these. Oops. Yep. Uh, our rate here is... 
I say we take only 86 point one per second oh the only way to be sure. Petrie Cottontail, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Anything left on Nalvis? Well, that depends on what your definition of left is. Uh, it's getting... It's getting a little bit scarce. We could nuke this. All this random iron and uranium. Or we could... You... There's like a drop off or a pick up left over here that requires our attention. I don't think we can nuke them both in one shot, right? Alright, Petri Cottontail, this one's for you. Fantastic. All right. It really is getting somewhat close to the point where we should actually just go to Nalvis and clean up what's left. I guess we could nuke the wall. Yeah, there's a wall here that hasn't, uh, hasn't been nuked. And one up here. Okay. Um, so just to double check again, we're only on tier 6 modules. Our rate here is 133 polished per second, or rough per second in, either way. Uh, and downstairs we're capable I of we supporting the the 86. So we need to double this. It's the only way to be sure. We hi, Nagaskin, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, what shall we nuke? Captain True, welcome in. Put Nalvis out of its misery. Might help you BS a bit too. Yeah. Uh, all of these inputs are pretty basic, so I don't really want to use prod modules, like my most precious prod modules on this build. Uh, I doubt if... Increasing the productivity bonus here with some speed modules could get us all the way to 133. I could be wrong, actually. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to measure this. Uh, so our target was like 130-something, right? I think. We go from 86... Plus 1940%. 1240. Why is it. Why is there like a 40% left over there? That's weird. Plus 540%. These are all speed nines, right? And these are prod nines. Well, that's minus 80% in any case. Uh, 157 per second. But that's without speeding these up. That's definitely going to need more than... Yeah, no, that's fine. Alright. So we will double this. And I'll work out the rest of the details in a minute. What are we nuking? Uh, how about the other side over here? Sulfuric acid, go bye-bye. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Downstairs, please. Um, we should probably just do another train stop. On this side. 
for the drop off. I'm quite sure we already ratioed this for tier 9 modules. Belt might need a bit of tidying up though. What's the max rate for scrap? It's like 60. Might end up using two whole belts for the scrap. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, uh, I could just put a copy of this on the opposite side. It's going to look a little jank. Maybe that's fine. And then we would just bring this over like so. I can live with that. So how do we fit the scrap in? Also, where is this coming from? Oh, it's up here. I see. Wait, no I don't. Oh, I get it. So when we're on prod nine or when we're on tier nine modules, the amount between the rough data storage subs and the scrap down here is like a bit more than one belt. But if we get rid of the scrap early it works itself out. Uh that means so, that we have to deal with this scrap here first. Mm. Might have made things a little bit awkward over this way. So this is what we did on the opposite side, right? No, that looks a little bit different. If I, like, invert this... Well, that doesn't quite work. Oh, hold on. How much scrap would the whole thing be? Would it be more than two belts? Do, 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 do. Do. Hey, that weird rounding is gone. Okay. In any case, that's plus 1300, plus 600, minus 80% power, uh, 60 per second, so 120, so less than two purple belts. Cool. Well, that, that tracks, because we already designed this for the end. Um, but how can I best fit all of that together? Is that really the best, like, shape we can do here? I guess. And then we could literally just do this. Yeah, that actually looks super awkward. Uh, we need them to use the sides of the belt equally. And this is kind of in the way. Hmm. 
think I like that a little bit better. We're still like just looping it around like this though. It's a bit more readable at least. All right. We're going to need the construction train. We're going to need some signals over here. And that should be it, basically. Might need two trips just because of how many purple belts there are. And there's going to be trains coming immediately. Before we even finish building it. Yeah, it is going to take another trip. How much is missing? 120 purple belts. We normally carry 200. Alright. That should fix our blank data card bottleneck. 172 per second. Cool, cool, cool. That's like two stacks, right? Less than two stacks. Good. Where's our train? It's on the way. Uh, I guess this would be a little bit faster. not going to get it done in five seconds, is it? Actually, it kind of is. Just barely. Cool. Fantastic. The recipes are so quick, it's almost just like water flowing. Imagine a species of space faring folk coming from uh, coming across their first planet that's within their exploration area and it's Nalvis and so it's just nuke fucked glory. I would be concerned. Is this not is this is not lined up properly. No. No. I hope that's not gonna cause balancing issues. Kind of is, isn't it? Let me switch this off a bit. And we'll wait till something runs out and switch it back on. Okay. I can't believe I missed that. How imbalanced is it? A little bit. I guess I could go over there and just rebalance it with even distro. Uh, so I can tell at a glance we're nowhere near catching up with the blank cards yet. Oh yeah, spaceships. What number were we up to? 53? Yep, two to go. And 
Boop. Core and Polar fifty four. That will auto launch at what was it, a hundred and eighty K fuel? And then there's just one more to add. So where's our science bottleneck right now? We're missing energy four. Energy four. Oh, it's probably just going to trace back to blank data cards. Yeah, no sig data. Still haven't done all of these updates yet. Same goes for the uh, the catalog machines. Not sure where I want to work on next. Oh, lattice is saturated. That's good. That's a very good sign, actually. Because we can pour an obscene amount of that into modules. Why don't we have module sevens right now? Because we're waiting on anything else. Wait, what? I'm confused. We've got efficiency sixes here. We're not putting them in the train. Whitelist set fill. Is because it, is it because we've got the greens upstairs? Yeah, it is. There's loads. Yeah, we're. Totally saturated on efficiency sixes. Uh, so really, we're looking for speed modules? What's the setting on this? Um, if anything greater than 50, train goes upstairs. We've got 50 prods. So we just happen to have stopped at exactly 50 prods. I see. I, it doesn't seem like there's anything missing. We're just waiting for that little bit more. It'd be weird if we were not materially bottlenecked for prod nines. 55, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. That's it. 51 prod sevens on their way upstairs. Which turns into 25 prod eights and 12 prod nines. Okay. It's really weird to think we might actually be... The inserter can't keep up? We're inserter bottlenecked. Uh, I don't want to redesign this again. Man... It looks like the inserters can keep up with green circuits on this side. Wait a minute, K2 buildings are cheating? Don't try and push your habits on other people. Welcome in my clan. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I guess I should use loaders for this stuff. Where can I squeeze it in? Oh, 
this is going to be not terribly pretty. Is all in range of the construction train, though. That's convenient. So we really don't need these inserters, right? Don't tell me we're going to be belt bottlenecked. Oh my god. 90 green circuits per second if we were to make the prod one, uh, all of the tier 1 modules at max speed. Bruh. And about half as many electronic components. Hmm. I don't really see where I could squeeze in... Oh, hold on, let's try this again. We could have the inserters grabbing the, uh... ECs. Have a belt specifically... for the electronic components. Of course that doesn't fit there. It can make it fit there. This is getting very spaghetti. But of course it is. There's no underground in line here, thank goodness. Okay. Now, are you satisfied? Nope. I mean... It's 90 and a tiny little bit more. But we're saturated on the efficiency modules. So it should saturate fairly quickly. Still, uh, pretty wild to think that we're not materially bottlenecked. Uh, with this build. Prod modules now. I could even consider... A white beacon 2 somewhere? I don't have a good spot to put it though. I'd love to fit... The 4s and onward. But it's not really possible. I guess we could put a bunch of uh, compact beacons. Surely that's just going to shift it to some other belt bottleneck or something. I guess it's not too expensive to find out. So you're still bottlenecked on threes. I mean on twos. Twos are now bottlenecked on red circuits. So we've basically got the whole problem down here again. Good grief. Yeah. 
How goes the factory? Pretty good. We are as ever creeping towards the end. Yeah, I don't think we need these ones. Maybe this one. Oh, shouldn't this have more speed modules in that case? No, we're already bottlenecking on the red circuits, and I don't really want to do more belt spaghetti for the red circuits. Can't really fit it. Oh, wait. I... No, I don't want to. What should we fix next? Uh, spaceship number 55? Whoops. Yeah, Four egg polar five five. Maybe that'll be ten percent more. Maybe that's all we need to make sure that the holmium core fragments stay saturated. Okay. How many prods do we have right now? I've got twelve in my pocket. Uh there's actually Oh yeah, I forgot about... I, f I forgot I put them over here. We've got 14 over here. 22 efficiencies, 14 speeds. And another 16 waiting over this way. Okay, cool. How long has this playthrough been so far? Uh, yes. Game time is almost 43 days. Uh, it, it, it's a bit. It's at least 10 minutes. How much longer until we get our Astro Insight? I guess I don't have it prioritized or anything. Oh! Or I switched it off. That might have something to do with it. I don't remember why. But we switched off the requests to make insight at some point. Time well spent, indeed, indeed. Can you really say it's time wasted if you enjoyed wasting it? Although I really... This is... Getting to be a very regular problem at this stage. Um, while we're waiting on obvious problem to saturate again after we've fixed it, I don't know where the actual bottleneck is for our research. Can I pick something that doesn't require energy for right now? Uh, mining prod. Sure, why not? There we go. Wub, 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 wub. What's all this then? Nothing. You're chilling. Fantastic. It's weird that it's so saturated, but we have two trains on the way with the chemical gel. We must be getting cl- That sounds optimistic. 
I was going to say we must be getting close to our goal because I keep finding myself not knowing what needs work until we wait for this bottleneck to be fixed. Well, like, mistake to be fixed. Uh, I guess we may as well go ahead and speed up. Twelve, twenty-four plus six, thirty. That's a lot, actually. I I don't particularly want to spend thirty speed modules for each quarter of this block when we know the bottleneck's going to be downstairs anyway. That didn't take very long. Switch it back on, and all of these resources should be perfectly balanced from now on. How did you run out of... oh, that's right. Two to two to two to one. That's how they ran out of everything precisely except for glass. And there's our trains on the way. Oh, we still haven't finished some of this decon. Uh, it looks like we have, though. We're still nowhere near where we need to be. Oh, we're getting rid of the military tech cards. I feel like I should go add a huge storage... Over here. How many stacks do we have stored? Okay, it's only 140, but also whatever all of this makes. In any case, uh, let's put a big, big, big container down here. I would much rather have that lying around than this entire half block. Can't really fit a sixer where I want to. Let's just do this. No, I just realized I should go there my myself. Because the train's going to pick up the data storage subs and they're going to be dragged back to the mall. And that's if the bots don't get things jammed. And the pot. Okay. Give me another loader. Give me... Well, that just figures. Maybe I should put a big container here. That doesn't quite... Oh, that could work. Really big container. Let's move this over a little bit. Just so we can still see it. Where did you put those military tech cards? There we go. Alright, do I want to leave these inputs in here? And just let the block consume them? One blank makes one military tech card. 
And we've got this many. That's probably fine. Okay. Also, we can finally get rid of this old thing. Or, so I thought, that's not actually part of the same thing I was just removing. Alright, there's an awful lot of bite of research data left here, though. And I think there'll probably be a bunch of it left over when we're done here as well. Yeah. Stack size is one quarter compared to blank tech card. And we need one-fifth as many. Per recipe. This one's done. And... This one's done also. Oops. Alright, so we added a little bit of new clutter and got rid of most of the old stuff. Double check there's nothing weird in here. Oh, I see you. Where the heck does this go? Blank data card. That'll do. Back to you them all. And... We've still got an awful lot of cargo rocket sections over here. Wait, we broke the robo network. Do we still have robots? We do. Um, I guess anything that doesn't contain any cargo rocket sections can be marked for decon. None of those are cargo rocket sections, right? Okay, cool. Muters backwards. Okay. Anyway, that will get rid of most of the stuff left in the old block. Still an awful, awful, awful lot of cargo rocket sections. Holy crap. That is still a very large number. Maybe I should just send them back to the mall. No, they're going to take up so much space. Seifercat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream? Factorio, fantastic. We've come to scratch your furniture and sleep on your pillow. Welcome in, Veldak. Good to see you again here today. Glacier Wolf, welcome in also. And... is that copper? It is copper. I don't, I don't understand how we haven't gotten rid of it yet. Alright. 
So we clearly still don't have enough holmium. We're enough water. One sec. Factorio Friday facts in one day, two hours and forty-five minutes. You're a day early. I'm a, I'm a day early. I am a day early. I totally spaced out on what day it was. I didn't even plan this. It was just, uh, oh, I got a stream today. Factorio, go. Um, uh, I guess we're doing. A little bit of extra Factorio this week. That's fine. Honestly, I want to finish this playthrough. Um, I might spend more time offline on certain things, slash letting the game run, because what the hell? Uh, let's head over there. Because there's a lot of waiting for resources to catch up and stuff sometimes. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Let me help by finishing Nalvis. It's the it's only way to be sure. sure. Okie dokie. Beldak. This one's for you. Today is Thursday. I, I had Friday. Take yeah. Off and nuke the entire site from orbit. You know, it's, it's weird. The only way to be sure. Uh, thinking, thinking back to other things where I have to consider my schedule for the week. I, I knew it was Thursday for a number of reasons, but for some reason, for some reason, I did Factorio today. Um, my brain is broken, is all I can say. One more, Zedius. One more coming right up. Uh, how about this drop off and wind turbines over here? Okay. More factory is good, indeed. More heat is not so good. I'm really struggling with that lately. Uh, this needs decon, but also there's a whole bunch of stuff left over that needs uh, removal. Let's go do that. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Well, we wait to find out what else needs our attention. It's the only way to be sure. What does this do? It launches nukes. Bid Lestain, welcome in. Good to see you again today. What should we nuke? Uh, there's a few drop-offs over here. Let's hit that. Fantastic. Okay. I thought it was random? No. No, I've never actually, uh, never actually done integration. Except for Dead Cells, where Zura had rocks raining down on me f while I was trying to fight a boss. Good times. We already switched this off, yes? Yes. Alright. Um, I think I'd rather move the extract first. Because there's not as much of it, stack-wise. And maybe the spice at the same time. Nice. 
easy. Let's head over and drop that into one of our extant builds over here. We should probably revisit Vitalic Acid at some point. Uh, yeah, we've never looked at, like, how much we actually need for Vitalic Acid. Last 10 hours, 7k per minute. Last hour, 13k per minute. Last 10 minutes, 29k. Uh, and what's this capable of? 36,000. That actually is a pretty good ratio. I guess we'll just stick with this design. Because we're obviously not fitting more of these in. Kind of have to use inserters if it's that close to the belt. Individual solid inputs are pretty slow. Alright, shift C. Shift C. And that'll do for now. Where do vulcanite blocks come in? Oh, there's quite a bit of space for some vulcanite blocks here. Oh yeah, and I put prod nines in for the high reflux and vulcanite blocks while I was at it. Just a relatively small number needed for those two steps, as opposed to uh, the centrifuges, or the rest of it. Okay, lend me your cubes. Apparently it didn't empty the spider drum properly last time. We'll drop them off over here. How's Naquim doing? Naquim is doing. Good grief. Yeah, I, I think Naquium is fine, actually. I've actually never seen it this saturated. It's completely saturated. Even the most, like, distant on the belt outputs have nothing to do. Shift C, take that, Shift C, take that, Shift C. Cool. Uh, that should probably be balanced. And now we can get rid of this block properly. Don't care about a little bit of light oil. There's no methane left. We're just going ham now. Did that get the right one? I think so. Come to think of it, we could get rid of these blocks entirely if I get rid of all this. Well, I'll wait till we get there first. Also, what the heck is this for? I guess there was a mine down this way? doesn't lead to a core drill. Uh, let's get rid of that. All of it, please. And 
never want to see this again. Nor do I want to leave it there after forgetting about it. Nice and tidy. Look at these old big electric cable, uh, powers, poles rather. Alright, get out of here. We done? Just about. Start on the next one. How are blank data cards doing? Not good. Maybe a little bit good. Oh, no, there's, there's already a train coming. That empty belt is for scrap output, so no stress there. Alright. Why do I have a million... Oh, because it was in the inputs for these. Okay. Let's just grab this first. Gonna have to borrow... Spidercon's trunk. Nine hundred and forty percent productivity on mining. Oh my goodness! Neck miners. It's an additional five prod nines. That is a good place to put them, except you need so many of them for drills. Uh, I guess let's go drop this stuff off. How are our various resources doing? Seems that we're bottlenecking on Naquim. Uh, not Naquim. Uh, Iridium. That is a whole process to figure out where the bottleneck is for that right now. Where the heck is... there it is. Oh yeah, we're definitely short. I was gonna say, if these expensive builds are looking mostly saturated, then there's not that much to stress about. It's actually rare metals. For the heavy composite. What? You're kidding. I'm going to be kind of upset if it actually does get to the point where where we need tons of rare metals, like way more than we've had before. Oh my god, I'm never getting rid of this stuff. Uh, hey, can we get rid of this first? And the Vulcanite blocks. And I guess we could travel through here trying to get rid of the bloom this way. It's actually working better than expected. Okay, these ones don't want any. Get them out of my pockets. Please. 
Oh no, Shift C doesn't get rid of the last two stacks for some reason. I forgot. Cool. Back we go. Let's see. I think, yeah, I did see some belts that were empty for the Iridite before. So we're not actually getting as much as we'd like. Let's say these three are active for the most part. That's 310 Iridite per second. Um, why are we caps locking? Core frag, Iridite. 13k per minute. It's actually been very consistent. Last 10 hours. 12 or 13k per minute. Consumed. So basically three blocks. A little bit less even. Okay. So we're looking at like... 275 iridite per second, roughly. Which translates into... 215 brushed iridite per second. That also spits out a little bit of crushed, but we'll ignore it for now. So maybe. 344-ish out of per second. And this one's... That doesn't eat powder. This contraption wants 432 per second. Okay. I'll just wait till we have more prods. a lot of vulcanite blocks. How much is over here? Lots and lots and lots. Uh, get rid of this. We don't need no stinking tier 3 modules. And let me just carry this. Maybe this will be easier. That's already full. Rude. Go drop it off over here. Exoxo, welcome in. Love getting home after a hard day of work and seeing T Hacks is playing Factorio. Thank you. even though I played Factorio today by accident. Alright. Vulcanite blocks. Vulcanite blocks. Vulcanite blocks. And so on. Uh... What am I supposed to do with enriched vulcanite in my pockets? Okay. 
just going to send the spider back to get rid of a bunch of this stuff. I don't think we need that many stacks of tier 6 modules. And why do we have a bunch of... I keep wanting to put this back where it belongs upstairs, but it's been sitting in my inventory for a while. Quantum supercomputers. Okay. Don't walk over a spaceship. Park yourself over there. And there's only one of these left. Let's get it done. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, that's not that bad. Uh... This kind of is. I don't think we're going to have room. Definitely not. It's kind of close. Oh, I, I reached for the spider. Spider's busy. Carrying a bunch of extract back to the mall for no reason. Oops. Mining Prod 7 hasn't stopped since we started it, right? That's something. That was easy. Let's get back inside, please. I'm getting low on fuel. I don't want to have to do a walk of shame. I mean, I could always hail a train, but still. I guess I'm not going to take too much time to trim these accurately, because we're probably just going to delete these blocks later on. Blazing Cookie, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And start getting rid of these. Oh, wrong alert. He built out of uh, supplies. I doubt it. No. It's looking for 24 more space elevator cables to reach its target. It's definitely not getting low. Still have no idea why we get the occasional false positives for basically the emergency channel to get stuff delivered. Also, how do we have... It shouldn't be possible to have a ship here if there isn't already enough core fragments to load the ship all at once. Is the stack size different for these? No. Very strange. Yeah, there have to be 13,000 core fragments on this signal before the ship lands. Odd. Maybe it snuck in because of the last ship that was there.
Alright. Maybe I'll just sprint over since we're getting so low on solid rocket fuel. I've gone AFK with the jetpack on out of range of Logibots with no legs. Oh no. Da, 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 da. Oh, that run speed though. Much better. Don't run into the train. We'll die instantly as soon as it starts moving. Uh, get rid of this. And get rid of that. What are your... What's your deal? You're looking for wood that isn't there? Bruh. It has to be more than... 30,000 wood for this belt to flow this way. Oh, I think I see what's happened. Isn't 30,000 like a train load and a half? No, it's three train loads. Stack size 100. 100, 100 is 10k. You're telling me... You're telling me stopping this belt if we're down to less than three train loads was not enough to keep this from happening. Also, why are we not getting wood? Because we're not getting Vulcan, uh, Vitamin Lunch. Okay. Um, I guess I could... I could also bump the provide stack thresh. I suppose. Sas. Sasgalotl? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. I did have a locomotive on me. No fuel for it though. Oh no. Uh. How's our spider? Spider is empty. For some reason, it's not ditching flamethrower fuel. Uh, could I get Spooda to bring us some solid rocket fuel, please? That would be nice. Solid rocket fuel. Where the heck is it? There it is. My drink of choice still a wall. I'm not doing so well without caffeine. All right, careful we don't step on a spaceship. Is this where I'm standing? Yeah, it is. Okay. And we can probably get this done in one more trip. Oh, there's still... Nope, there isn't really methane gas here. I made ore washing as compact as possible. With zero empty space. Nice, nice. Here comes our spooder. Wait, what was that? All right. I mean, cable goes burr. Are these trains stuck as well? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what did I change that to? 120. Let's copy that across. this from occurring again. So now there has to be 120 stacks of wood 
before LTN will schedule a train. That way we don't get this happening. got away. Alright, let's see if we can pick everything up except for the big container contents. Freight forwarding is turning out more fun than SE for me, especially with AAI, A2, and I don't know what uh, VBZ is, but good for you. Fantastic. What is freight forwarding exactly? Revan's set of mods. Okay. Uh, grasslands. There we go. No, the spider's slow. Oh man, I didn't recharge it. Oh no. Okay. One more trip and then we'll send it back for recharge. Actually, I think I'm still carrying... No, I got rid of it. I had one of those charger thingies on hand, but now it's gone. Alright, while this laborious trek occurs, uh, where can we make improvements? I still haven't gotten around to changing all of these requests. So that there should always be some slack in these requesters. That was the whole point of switching them from filtered storages to requesters, but the bots still behaved like this. So what's our rate of sevens, for example? Module sevens. Oh, bit more activity in the last half hour? Definitely. It's pretty steady most of the time in the last ten. Hopefully... Yeah, speeds have been doing a bit better since we made those changes. Okay. We made it. Thought that space was already in use. Alright, Spooder, go recharge your tired little legs. Or tired ginormous legs, I guess. Containerization, everything goes in a box, which is cheap to begin with, but takes a while and can't be sped up. Freight forwarding, island-based logistics with reduced stack sizes, limited trains, ships and lava pits. Hmm. I think I've had enough of tiny stack sizes, to be honest. What is this? Okay. Um, I was going to take a break soon. Beat back the brain fog. Where is words? There it is. Alright. 
Tumbling, welcome in. If it isn't a factory building short-armed dino, indeed. Uh, we were just about to do a little, little word on stream action while I take a little break before my brain melts out my ears. Uh, so let's do that. Alright, we'll start words and stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
last level for words on stream for now. We'll let it finish though. Um, has science been continuous? Looks like it. So we've been, uh, we still haven't got the energy four, unsurprisingly. It looks like it's going to take a while before we hit a snag. Spamming mining productivity. Is it my imagination, or is this level taking longer than usual? Probably taking as long as it usually does. Okay. What should we crank up next? This needs power. Do we have a spooder? We should have. Oh, it was still recharging. Uh, no, that'll do. That will do. Fantastic. Nicely done. Let's continue with Factorio. Uh, so I was gonna f fly? That's not the right word. Just take the spider over here and reconnect this uh, power network. I would like to finish mining that copper away. Right about here. really does feel weird to see Nacrium this saturated. Almost makes me worry. But I know things are stopped because blank data cards stopped. And I know just how many stations are asking for blank data cards. It's a lot to catch up with. Alright. Another pylon over here. Are these actually all empty? I think so. Yes. Let's just pick up this uh, train stop on this side. And copper goes in here. And I guess I don't care about prod modules or anything. You're still hovering with the Iridium plate? How is that even possible? Wait, what? Oh, I miss... I misread it. Heavy Composite is the bottleneck for speed modules now. That's Iridium. Okay, I guess it's about time we had another look. At our Iridium bottlenecks. Do we need an, another one of these? Or I could put high tier modules in it, I guess. If I have tier 9 speed modules uh, and we don't have tier 9 prods. It might end up being too fast for the belts, but I doubt it with this build. Plus 200, minus 80. Don't actually want to spend my prod modules on this yet. So that is 13 speed modules for later. All right, uh, how much of a change is that? I probably should have checked. We can now theoretically do 167 Iridium Blast Cake per second. And this eats 211. 
That's actually quite a lot. We're backed up. What? Wait, 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 what? Iridium plate... What? Iridium ingots were empty last I looked. Okay, so why are we not... Rare metals still. Did I switch this off? No. Are we actually short on rare metals? Can't be. Uh, we do only have the one build making rare metals at the moment. That might have something to do with it. Um... I could expand this slightly, but I presume I already ratioed it. The max level. Let's see. Uh, if we have five of these... Wow. Oh, that... That's kind of fast. Uh... Yeah, it's almost two belts already. With the four machines on each side. So we should just double this. Instead of trying to squeeze in a little bit more on this side. I think. Alright. So... Request a station. This should all get built without going out of our way. Another one of these. Another one of those. And we're going to want the dirty water connected over here. There's no pyroflux involved. I'm pretty sure that is the pinnacle of uh, rare metal recipes, right? The one that uses vulcanite blocks? Yeah, it is. Okay. And switch that off for a sec. So we want green wire everywhere. Red wire pumps to the LTN train stop output. And these should already have the correct settings. Cool. Pretty sure that's right. There should be trains on the way shortly. There we go. Where are you picking up from? Good. So how much uh, rare metal? What was our peak for consumption, more or less? That's production. Uh, I need consumption. 18k per minute? I'm producing 11. Alright, so this should cover it. Um, and we're going to need another... Output train stop. We're going to need to separate these rail blocks. Oh, circuit... Circuits? What? Sectors. Separate those rail sectors. And copy pasta flip. Why does that not line up? Wait, what? No. No, why is this one off? Uh, 
unfortunately, we don't have everything we need here yet. Yeah, I think... I think normally this would be one over. No, it's flowing in. Stop. Okay. So that should line up correctly. There we go. There's probably some random junk in the construction train by now. Let's empty it out. Fantastic. Okay. That'll be rare metals then. Hopefully the last time we need to upgrade that. That large SE miner looks remarkably similar to the one from Triple F. Well, they do have the, uh, one of the devs slash artists from SE working on the new stuff. Iridium blast cake is saturated. Iridium ingots are saturated. Really makes me not want to waste... Our best modules over here for now. How, what's the theoretical input required for this? 652 powder per second. And we're producing 516. That's not that bad. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the reason we're not getting... It was rare metals, wasn't it? This one is set to slightly below normal priority. So if we see this saturated with rare metals, we should have some confidence that rare metals are doing just fine. Um, but yeah, we've really fallen behind for the moment. Although it usually irid iridites the bottleneck here. So wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Only one machine for each of these? They're both super expensive? It's prod time. You'd better believe it's prod time. And we could maybe go up here for the same deal. Okay. I might just leave the tier 6 speed and efficiencies in though. Plus two. Oh, you don't even have a beacon two. So this is probably still a speed upgrade. That's a thousand percent. That was three hundred. Fifty fifty. Cool. That'll help. Let's do the same thing. Or. Well, this would be 24 modules, right? I have four. Hmm. That's not so great. But I guess I can go get some more. I think it'll be worth... to make girders and such. Rod 9. So what have we got? Uh, they're all over here, right? 14? I don't think there's any left down this way. Nope. 
There's also still 18 prods over here. Let's get them picked up. Make it greater than or equal to 10. Did you already know? What's going on with this train? Oh, I see. You were, you just happened to be. God damn it. Yeah, we just happened to catch him on the way back from another job. Okay, cool. Was that core egg holder 55? Yes, it was. Currently on its way to Hagen, full of Immersite Cave core frags. Wunderbar. Oh yeah, um, once we pick these up, which we already did, uh, let's send you upstairs to pick up the modules. Why are there no white beacon twos? Because there's no white beacons? Because... There's no prereqs getting selected for... Matter cattle? Uh, do we request matter catalogs up here? Feels like something that I might have only added manually until now. Matter catalog. I hope we've got some lying around at the moment. We do. And there goes the schedule. Fantastic. Alright, well that'll at least get matter plants. Why are we short on matter plants? Because we've got zero. How did we come to have zero matter plants? Who knows? But yeah, there are prereqs that are not getting made because there's too many other jammed recipes over here. All these other ones are dependent on some prereq that we make on the spot with the autocrafter, but this one just wants matter, matter catalogs. Do we even request those down here? Surely we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. So where are they? Right about here. Fantastic. Good, good, good. We're almost halfway down Mining Prod 17. Uh, I guess I could just bring the rock modules down. Sure. And once we've got that, what was I going to do? Upgrade the, uh, upgrade the modules for these two. We do have to go through heavy bearings just to get plate from Naquim ingots. It's not that many though, but still. Heavy girders and everything that comes out of them is a big, big, big sink for erudite, I think. It's 
we'll go, to, go ahead and upgrade that. I could maybe just go for one machine. So that we only need four prods. Let's see. Heavy G, consumption. Last 10 hours. 1.4k per minute. Only about 1,000 per minute. Last 50 hours. Okay. So... Advanced assembly machine. Rod nines. That's not what I meant. Uh, heavy gutter. Mini beacon two. Bunch of top tier modules. That's already minus 80%. Okay. So how fast is this? 45 per second. 2.7k per minute. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can just use one. Uh, and for the bearings, I'm sure it's the same deal. 1.35k per minute. Heavy bearings, last 10 hours. It's not even close to 1k per minute. Yeah, that that's probably fine for the whole playthrough. And if not, we'll just expand it when... Uh, when top tier modules are even cheaper. They definitely get dispensed very casually compared to when we first started with them. I also want to finish moving all of this. Let's get on that right after this one. That large... Oh, right, I s said that already. Are we already super saturated on... Steel? There's room left on the belts yet. Iron, on the other hand, is looking... Uh, mostly very healthy. Hello. Copper is... Um, there's a bit of copper here. I hesitate to say there's not enough. Hmm. My heart shielder is on fire. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, hey. Train limits. We don't need those anymore. Uh, I think we already... Confirmed we could get rid of these. Now that we've got a proxy station that LTN delivers to. We don't need vanilla train stops. Just as a second pickup station. Alright. So... What is this? Vulcanite blocks? Oh yeah, we had to get a bit tricky fitting this stuff, didn't we? Should be pretty straightforward. With, uh... With just one machine. Where are my beacon twos? Why am I not carrying Beacon 2s? 
He should be in the construction train. They are. And away it goes. Wait, I thought that was... There's the construction train. Okay. Uh, I would like to see... I said I would like to see... A beacon too. Why can't I... Click it. There we go. Still got enough high tier modules. Okay, so rate calc, uh, per second, a hundred, no that's fine, it's just two bells, just, okay, so we're going to get rid of the side, Get rid of all this extra. Yes, that can stay. And one belt is more than enough. Is this short trains permissible? Consumer, Gerda, on the ground, that's a long train only, and that's a long train only, and that's a long train only. Let's just make this long train only. Exactly 100 stacks. And keep it balanced. Oh. Now we can use the rest of that storage space. Uh, except... I think... We would like to take straight from here. To feed this machine. Actually, we're only going to need one of these as well. So we can get rid of all this superfluous crap. And not a drop was wasted. Okay. Uh, so you're looking for iridium plate and nothing else, as far as solids up here are concerned. West dude, welcome in. Alright, and we'll do the same deal over here, I think. Consumer, heavy bearing... Long trains only. Long trains only. Long trains are fine. Yeah. That should be fine. I guess I could probably put a single wide beacon 2 between the two of these. And that should cost fewer, fewer high tier modules. Okay. Plus forty eight hundred, plus thirty four hundred, plus six hundred, and minus eighty power consumption. 
Alright, that is a pretty tidy build. What's the rate for the girders here? This one's looking for 13.75 per second. Uh, with the two loaders here, I imagine they'll get 50-50. So this should always be saturated, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that little improvement. Give me those Beacon 2s. I'm always looking for them in my backpack and they're just not here. Um, fill this out. And girders go... Not girders. Bearings go here. All right, I think that's done. Time to just make sure this train didn't get shuffled too badly. All right, back we go. And we've finally got tier nines for all the expensive iridite things. And it didn't cost very many. Uh, so again, heavy girder consumption last 10 hours, 1.4k, maybe a bit more. Last 50 is like 1k, and this one machine is capable of almost 3,000. Good grief. Yep, that'll do. We already prod nined these. Uh, I'm pretty sure a wide beacon doesn't reach properly. It's one off. That's rude. Uh, what other small builds? Oh, that's right. I wanted to get rid of this. Let's bring the decon train this time. I wonder when blank cards will start catching up. Hmm. What's the provide stack threshold here? 100. That's uh, definitely over 100. Oh, nope, there's the delivery. We're not there yet. Alright. Let's pick up as much of this stuff as we can. Save the containers for last. Immediately fill our bags with crap. Have trouble seeing where the mouse is. Good, good, good. Wait for that to fill up. Taking him a little bit longer than I thought it would. Oh, we pretty much are filled up here. Alright, let's drive over to the new blocks over this way. And dump everything over there. All the 
about the Recycle Express. Oops. <sighs> okay. Get those out of my face, please. That's also a lot of superior long inserters. Go home. No. No. Wait, 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 wait. That's a lot of bots chasing. Is this saturated? It is. Damn. Wasn't expecting that. Now there's nowhere to put the freaking enriched vulcanite. Um, maybe I will just send it back to the mall for now. Okay. We're not having a run on ingots. Doesn't seem that way. Good, good, good. Volume cable or plate, on the other hand, is probably... Struggling a bit. I think it's pretty much the only resource that is struggling like that for the moment. Is this our decom train? No. Come to think of it, it's going to take a little while to empty. Mm. I guess it won't take that long. Enough for this to be a pain, though. Maybe I could have dropped a bunch of those resources back in here. Yeah, probably. Which means... We can just take the stuff next door. Uh, not quite next door. I take that back. Bag's gonna be filled pretty quickly. All right. Cross town donkey, welcome in. Did you make your city block design yourself for this run? Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, I like it a lot. I wish I'd made it a little bit bigger, though. For a few reasons. The huge uh, fluid storage tank from K2 needs one more tile uh, to fit up here, where both fluid wagons would be able to connect to it directly. One shared giant tank. Uh, also, just generally having a little bit more room to do things, um, but in particular, when it comes to some of the big machines in space, uh, where is it? Some of them, we can barely fit three columns on each side. And that's not making the most of the beacons. 
So yeah, a little bit bigger I think would have been a bit better. Don't use the absolute minimum size for the roundabout next time. But pretty happy with it otherwise. I hope to hear them around on Twitch using TTS. Oh god. Ever made my own before? Um, well, I would definitely recommend it. It'll be difficult at first, but you'll get a better understanding. Where does this come from? I don't have a container to squeeze these into, do I? That's the wrong belt. Nope, no I do not. Okay, in that case, unlimit these two, even distro, and that's actually a little bit, well, I was going to say it's a little bit concerning, but so if we consider the enriched a byproduct that needs to be, um, actually that can just be unlimited, it needs to be removed. But, like, if we're saturated on Enriched, then we've got enough Vulcanite. That's what that means. To be honest, I often go bus designs, but I'm about to start K2SE for the first time. Having finished SE and K2 individually, I feel like I'll struggle if I continue the way I currently play. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, another thing that bigger blocks would allow is more... Well, okay. We, we, we do have a couple of, like, composite blocks. Um, but some builds just really, 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 really don't lend themselves to having trains move everything around. Uh, really tiny stack sizes with very, very high throughputs um for the stack size like stacks per second uh belts don't care about stack sizes at all they're kind of cheating in that sense uh so you might want to direct belt certain builds having bigger blocks means we could do more steps in the one block and still do a decent scaling I never did pick up that solid fuel, did I? Captain True, thank you very much. Enjoyed watching this. Thanks for sharing. Thank you so much as well for the uh, for the four months and for hanging out this whole time. Much appreciated, thank you. And thank you for the follow, Crosstown Donkey. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, there's all these swap chests as well. That's why this is taking a bit more storage space than usual. I guess we'll use the trash slots again. Science has stopped. Because... Probably because we're missing Matter Science Pack 2. And that probably traces back to blank cards. Meta Science Pack 1, Sig Data. Sig Data is going to be because blank cards. It's actually in motion now. Uh, Sig Data doesn't directly consume blank cards, but all of the uh, insights that we were short on for a while 
do require blank cards. Okay. Once more with feeling. Doesn't actually take from the trash slots, does it? Evidently not. Why have we got so many bots hovering? Those don't belong to a train, do they? Oh, they do. Good grief. Maybe I should just send this stuff back to the mall. If we get over 200 stacks, it'll get delivered somewhere automatically. that butt going? Oh, I get it. Um, I guess it's still easier for myself to drop this stuff off over here. And hopefully one more trip. At least without tackling the big containers. storage space. Okay. How much is in here? Not as much as I thought. Still too much though. this out yet either. I guess it would have been easier to get that up to a hundred stacks and then summon a train. Oops. Not that close to the mall. May as well go this way. solid rocket fuel. I don't pay attention to it. Where is the solid rocket fuel? Yep, oh, there's some. Did you make your city blocks gridlocked? Uh, I don't understand the question. Um, but this might answer it. The, the rail signals on all of the straight rails are one way. So it's left-hand drive in this case. 
Uh, the roundabouts, however, allow the trains to go both directions. So then we're able to very easily and in a compact uh, build have a train stop coming off of the rail system like this without uh, having to do anything fancy. It's very, very, very effective, the compact train stops. You do need to have a double locomotive, like bi-directional trains though. The blueprints themselves. Some blueprint creators make the blueprints locked to the world grid. Oh, yeah. Um, 86, 25, 1. Numbers we've typed in many times this playthrough. And that way it'll always... Always snap to a position that'll line up to the other rail grids. Do we still have military tech cards here? We don't. Nice suit. Uh, I don't just want to send decon train because we've got a bunch of crap I want to move there as well. Where's our spooder? Good, good, good. might be easier to remove this block first. Oh, even more enriched. Lovely. How much is up here? 10 or 20 stacks? It's not going to get this over the edge. Anyway, let's start picking this up. Oh, you're helping. Thank you so much. Gotcha. Okay, cool. That's already empty. No reflux. Honestly, I'm not worried about some pyroflux at this stage. Uh, Vulcanite core franks, though. I don't particularly want those going back to the mall. Insert those over here. Spooder, spooder, spooder. I guess it would still be easier if we just clicked. Where's our science bottleneck for the moment? Same place as ever. It's going to trace back to blank cards. Okay, so we're looking at, what was it, 30 speed modules? Not counting the wide area beacon for each space manufactory. It's a bit rough. Maybe this would be easier. So core franks in here. OK, 
Get out of here. you at least get out of my face thank you actually I might just ride this back It helps if I unmute. But uh, yeah, rare metals already saturated. Expensive iridite stuff on its way. Love to see it happen. Where's the spooder? Ah, there's so much of this stuff yet to move. I'm going to take a little break from deconning that for the minute. Okay. Why are you still hovering? just gonna float there with iridium plate I guess because it was charging earlier that's why all right I'm gonna need a short break I guess we'll continue words straight into it this time, and Veldak will cheer. We'll be back in a few minutes or so.
my back. What happened to the words? Did I not put it on auto? Oh no. Well, that's not great. Let's continue, shall we? Word didn't move. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. Alright, let's continue, shall we? What are we trying to fix right now? Um. Well, where's our... Where's our science backed up? Well, not backed up, rather. We're missing Singularity Tech Cards. That'll probably be because... Uh, Deep Space 3. That'll be because Naquium uh, Tesseracts. So that traces back to... Oh, this isn't... This isn't jammed after all. Fantastic. Uh, the Arcosphere switching is working pretty well. Surprisingly well, actually. I thought there'd be... I thought there'd be one Arcosphere or another that's on basically zero uh, when this much of it is in motion. Uh, I guess that could still be the case. Alright, um, so we really don't know where to look just yet to get this stuff moving. Um... Energy 4... Energy's down here. For some reason I often think energy science is up here. Energy 4 is looking for... Oh, quantum... quantum uh, holmium cable... Quantum processes. It's looking a bit slow. Okay. Why don't we go fix this last, this last little bit of clearing out the military science pack, the old bill. So, are we saturated on core frags at least? Nope, we're not. Hmm. I wonder if we still need to add more spaceships. Or if that didn't really make a difference. Let me just check something real quick. Or Frank... Wait, what? Or Egg Hauler. Delta V... I think... Uh, I don't think adding those ships helped. We've got like... 20 or something that are hovering in Hagen orbit, waiting for their turn to drop something off. Meanwhile, we've got four fragments for Hominite uh, missing. And if we check back at, like, probably Orpheus orbit, there's 225k four frags here. Uh, that's not what I want to see. I don't know how to fix it. Without completely redesigning... The, uh... The dispatch system. T-Hex, do you want to see something? Is it... Is it going to be a food post? Oh, I see what it is. Arcospheres. I, I can tell without being able to read the text. That's Argus Fears. 337... 45,000 collectors launched? Are you sure that's enough? Just happened, 1,000 everywhere. Nice. Alright, uh, am I going to be able to fit... Let's just take the blank cards first. And head on over here. 
once more. Did we limit this? We did. Okay, we should be able to get rid of this. Easy peasy. Take off the limiter. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. It's the only way to be sure. And Sas uh how do I pronounce this? Saxolotl would like a nuke. I have pancakes, fantastic. Uh where should we nuke? Maybe we really are running out of targets. Oh, here we go. Here's a drop off with several entities that haven't been nuked yet. Fantastic. Okay. Mark that one off. And... Get the last of the blanks. There's not too, too many byte of research data needed here. Actually, why don't I use my trash slots? Hey, that's actually all of them. Cool. Decon... All of that. Oh, let's not get too carried away. My bags are definitely going to be full here. Sulfuric acid will be a fantastic syrup for my nuclear pancakes. Interesting taste. Uh, why don't we get rid of this... These belts as well. Okay. Blank cards, in you go. Vita research data, in you go. Bots, in you go. Are there any more floating over here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. The tingling on your tongue is how you know it's working? Oh no. Turtle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. It's actually a surprising amount left to pick up. It's still in the machines and on the belts. And poop. And poop. And poop. Okay. Back we go. Delete that. That's actually the end of that block. Fantastic. We finally cleared out all the old science blocks. Beautiful. Nothing remains of them except some containers like this one. Why? Oh, that's already full. That makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. What's next? Still need to clear this out. I don't feel like it. 
Uh, I don't know what to do about spaceship throughput now. That's actually a really big problem. So we added like five more, 10% more spaceships. Come to check on it, we've got like 20 core egg polar. Five, six, seven. Why does this one say 83? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, it's, it's literally 20 or so spaceships that are distance zero from Hagen. Just floating, waiting for their turn to drop something off. Uh, I wonder how many of them have barrel. Because I just happened to click on a couple of them and I saw barrel. Copper... Stone. No, it's nothing in particular. With prop nines on everything, won't you need less spaceships? Uh, yes, but also some resources are just super, super thirsty anyway. I wonder if our count is wrong on how many ships are on their way back with different resources. No, I think it might be okay. Hmm. I don't get it. Uh, maybe for this outpost I have a limit that's set too low. No. There's three ships allowed to be on the way here at any one time, and there's currently zero. 217,000 core frags waiting for pickup. Or at least a fraction of that waiting for pickup, and the rest of it is uh, accumulating down here. That's so many ships to just be sitting idle, though. It's also a lot of traffic down here. Hmm. I really don't know what to do about it. Gonna have to have a have a think. I have tried to come up with like the next version of spaceship dispatch so far. I haven't had any breakthroughs. That's a lot of arcosphere folding. Oh, let's see. Down to three zetas. Everything seems to be working, though. How, how are blank cards doing now? Still playing catch-up. It's going to take forever. How many modules do we have to play with? 25... Over 100 efficiency, so that's good. But only like half a stack of speed modules. Ot, Ot Zora, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we've got like another 11 speeds here. Three over here. So nowhere near enough to jam speed nines into this build. We need like 40 or so times 4. So like over 160 speed modules. Good grief for the one build. That's so expensive. Did I fix this one? Not yet. 
I don't know where to push our bottlenecks in the meantime. It's all just waiting for blank cards to catch up, right? I mean, they are catching up. Let's see. Blank data card. Last 50 hours, 1.6k per minute. Production's like the same. I guess that's to be expected. Last 10 hours, 1.7. Current rate of production, 6.2k per minute. Okay, I... Wow. One would think it would saturate a bit more quickly, but... There must be a lot of stations with, uh, with a thirst for blank data cards. Including quantum phenomenon data. Did we switch off this old one? We did not. Hmm. But yeah, now I kind of do expect this to saturate in fairly short order. All right. What do? If I increase the rate at which we can turn our excess resources into barrel, maybe it'll sort of help the spaceship situation. Uh, into barrel. Into matter. We never did increase the rate that we do it for barrel. Let's start with that. That's something we can actually do. As opposed to just clicking around everywhere, wondering what to do next. Here we go. Matter plant. Stack size 10. On the way, uh, 10. There we go. We'll triple, if not more, increase the rate at which we can turn barrel into matter. I don't know that it's that many ships that are trying to get rid of barrel, though. At the moment. Where even is our barrel processing? Up here. Obviously it would be better if we could design a dispatch system that's precise enough compared to the... our material needs. Uh, doesn't help. You're really going to be able to cover only, uh, almost all of these? Okay, whatever. Nope, don't do that. That should be okay. Alright. Place belts like so... And now we need to squeeze in some uh, undergrounds over here. Same thing on the opposite side. Alright, so that triples the rate we can turn barrel into matter, which is still... Only like 18.25 per second. Any other builds that need similar encouragement? I don't think we need to worry as much about coal, probably.
we've already done similar things for stone and sand. Uh, that's also stone and sand. Fluids. Uranium? Maybe? May as well, right? Let's head on down. Uh, did I leave something back here? Oh, I think we're good. Just need this copy past. Copy past? Copy pasta. I'll also give this some white beacon twos. Accidentally brought some barrel with me. Okay. Same, same, but different. Uh, this is probably where I picked up the barrel earlier. Yep. Could you stop with the ticky tick? Why is this still in my inventory? Shoot. Spicy rocks. And like this. And like this. Uh, why is it not active? If uranium ore greater than 18k... Wait, what? 18,000. We're limiting this to 370 stacks. I guess it's about to do its thing here. Fifteen K plus two point five. Okay, there we go. It's kind of stuttering though. Mm, I guess we could just add some belts over here. That's a bit better. Okay. Back to the malt. That's our next move. I don't know. Where's our bottleneck for modules right now? Iridium stuff? That should be doing pretty well though. Is it's just got some catching up to do. We only picked this up with long trains, right? Uh, heavy composite ingredient. Yes. Heavy assembly ingredient. Okay, we can change this to only accept long trains. And 
get rid of the limits on these. It's going to take a long time to fill those containers, but that's fine. I guess I could double this if we really want, but on paper, this should be way more than we need from doing the rate calc earlier. On the other hand, if that's our bottleneck for speed modules, no, we're, we're, we're always going to make speed modules faster than prod modules. Oh, Vitalic Reagent. Uh oh. We're out of extract? All the way across this. Seriously, what's going on? We've been saturated on extract for a long time, and now all of a sudden... It's just all gone. Maybe because we're spamming prod modules faster. That might have something to do with it. This one's got a train load. There's a train coming. I'm a little concerned about our rate of Vitamelange at the moment. Or fragment vit vitamelange or fragment vita there we go uh production is like 11k per minute it seems pretty steady last 10 hours surprised how wavy it is Hmm, and what does 11k per minute translate into? Uh, this block can almost consume 8k per minute. So most of it's getting prod 9 I think. This one also has maxed out prods. So, 11k per minute would mean like 16k vitamin lunch per minute. That sounds like a lot. It sounds like a lot, a lot. And yet, here we are. How many prods have we got for our troubles? Three, thirteen, almost a stack. Perhaps we shouldn't be trying to do sides and spam modules at the same time. Yeah, honestly, I feel like I should switch off the sides. We did get the energy sides. How long does it take to get Singularity Tech Cards? Deep Space 3... Uh, at least it's in motion. It really is hard to tell without, like, factory planning the entire giant factory. Uh, how close we are to meeting our goal. Alright, Let, let's kill research for the moment. It's not doing anything anyway. And over the next quite a while, we'll let things saturate again. Which means we'll be making modules faster. Um... Any 
builds we want to refactor? We haven't labeled this yet. Oh, this block's supposed to be temporary, I guess. Barrel's pretty abundant, though. Don't exactly feel like redoing Erudite all the way through. I'm pretty sure we've looked at this and everything's pretty much shaped properly for max tier modules anyway. There's a bunch of stuff in space that still uses tier 3 modules. Well, that's right, we were deconning this. Let's do that. I don't want to leave that half finished. Down we go. Hey Dardano, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. What's the current project in the run? Honestly, I'm not sure. We're at the point where it can be hard to tell where our bottleneck is when things break, or especially if they, if something was broken for a while, like blank data cards, uh, it takes some time to fill out. Also, we're pouring so many resources into making modules that, uh, we're not really testing how much the base can keep up with the science throughput as much. Because the demands of module production are just over the top. How much room do I need here? Lots more. Why do I have this many centrifuges? Why do I have a lot of things? Bit brief. Alright, that'll do for the moment, I guess. Gotcha. How close are modules to being caught up? Uh, as in to tier 9 everything that we want to tier 9? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's happening faster. But I think there's... Like, okay, f for a lot of these builds we do need far fewer machines uh, with the endgame version. But not all of them. Uh, and we calculate for the, uh, to fill the blank data card build with tier 9 modules, we need about 160 and then some maxed out speed modules. That's, that's going to take some, some time. Especially with how Vulcanite is, uh, Vitamalange is right now. A while then? Yeah. I think I should do more letting the game run off stream. Alright. Extract. 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 And that just leaves the spice. And we finally got rid of, well, there's still a few of the old builds up here. But these ones were harder to remove, I think. Yeah. And then we can actually start deleting these rail blocks. Ok, 
because every little bit of rail pathing and signals does cost a little something. I'm going to need more inventory space though. Let's just leave that for now. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Data Gnome would like a nuke. See Let's clear up now this. Okie dokie. Where should we nuke today? Uh, despite all these tags, there isn't really anything left here. Oops. couple of water tanks. It really is looking like a wasteland at this point. Good job, everyone. Look at all those pockmarks. We've even nuked this uh, coal mine over here. We can get uh, some more some more belt out of the way, I guess. Space capsule. I feel like nuking it. D wasn't expecting to see a vehicle just sitting there. Not for long. We made the Fallout series, indeed. Alright. Maybe that was a bit of a frivolous use of a nuke. There aren't, there aren't very many, uh, I guess we could have nuked this. There aren't that many spicy targets left at this point. Okay. Sp speaking of spice, get out of my inventory. Back to the mall for the moment. And I'm gonna start looking at someone to raid. Still not feeling that well. But it's a mixture of uh, not feeling that well. It's really, really hot. I have no caffeine, and I'm still fixing my sleep schedule. It's a bit rough. Also, surprise bonus Factorio stream. Wait, did I just drop some stuff off into... There's no storage. I hope they didn't try and take stuff from my trash slots. That wouldn't fit in here. It doesn't look like it. That's more than a bit rough? Yeah. I don't know if the headaches have more to do with caffeine withdrawal or the heat. But they're not fun. Okay. I also think I really need to, like, let this run for quite some time to get a better feel for where things are. Also to just make some more modules, honestly. I, I do like seeing all these uh, Arcospheres in motion relatively fast. A lot of these are fully saturated already, like on the right side over here. There's uh, 
More than a couple of train loads worth of space injection data, for example. I don't understand why Singularity Tech Cards... Oh right, Deep Space 3. Equium Tesseract. That's right. I didn't get around to it today, but I was floating the idea on the Discord. Uh, maybe instead of like a central generic rebalancer thing for the Arcospheres, maybe what's really needed is to look at exactly what the inputs and outputs are for a certain build and do a custom rebalancer specifically for that one. Basically just the other side of this loop, if that makes sense. Build it into the build itself. That's going to be really, 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 really tricky to design, I think. But... Unless we just... Unless we just keep adding Arcospheres and keep spamming bot speed research, which is going to take forever. I don't really see a better solution. That or having, like, entire big fat generic rebalances for every little separate Arcosphere build. So have a block with a dedicated amount of Arcospheres, yeah. So, for example, whatever intermediate steps might be in between them, this keeps flipping like every single time, right? Or is it random? Please don't tell me it's random. The UI did refresh when it switched earlier. Yeah, there we go. Bruh. So for space dilation data, for example, we need to be able to turn n number of lambdas and n number of phi's back into zeta and omega. Uh, arbitrarily. It doesn't seem like... I don't know, it, it seems like we might not be able to count on it being consistent. I thought it would just flip back and forth between these two versions here. If we just assume 50-50, it's probably going to get jammed, right? So I guess... Uh... I guess you kind of have to set it up so that if the build is doing all lambdas, it can manage, and if the build is doing all phi's, it can manage. That's going to be so much more clutter. Why oh, you got to be this way, Arcospheres? Alright, uh, let's drop in on Mr. Dane today, I think. And with any luck, things will be a bit less rough tomorrow. Thank you, Veldak. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Thanks for the stream. Get better. Thanks, Evil Plan. See you next time. Take care, Turtle. Thank, uh, thanks for hanging out. Data Gnome, everyone else, including all you lovely lurkers. Have a good day. For making this. Made in space, made.